It's interesting to observe richer and wealthier countries, those with abundant resources, higher levels of education, safety and health. These countries often have higher levels of unhappiness and more people on antidepressants. So it's funny because the happier people can be, the unhappier they are. In a twisted kind of way, I love discussing unhappiness because there's so much false positivity out there. We seem to have a generation of fridge magnet people. Those who, when things get a little bit oily or rusty, they slide down to the floor, rejecting the situation and get swept under the fridge of life. Over the years, I've worked with many people and the topic of unhappiness often comes up. I've always found it to be a shallow goal. I want to be happy. And it should be used as a stepping stone towards fulfillment, not the goal itself. I'll speak about that in another video. Happiness. To be happy, I believe one must be content even during unhappy times. To be ecstatic, one must accept being miserable. When I'm happy, I leverage and ride the wave. When I'm unhappy, I explore what steps need to be taken to find out the ascent. And then take the first step, and then another. Most people resent how they live, but hide it from themselves. They become resigned, rejecting all possibilities, and then get anxious from all of the uncertainty. Another aspect is being raised to be nice, passive, and accepting while being discouraged from exploring the darker elements, the mean, aggressive, and selfish sides. These dualities simmer inside and stay suppressed until Pandora's box is opened, and they express these darker elements like unpracticed toddlers. Then comes a new level of bitterness, because they never gave themselves permission or had the courage to discover the countless other parts of themselves that that are interesting. Those that are bold, cheeky, mad, curious and brave. So many do what any rational and logical person would do. Self-medicate. After all, it's easier that way, is it not? It's done either professionally with antidepressants and other legal drugs or recklessly with alcohol and substances. Ultimately, they discover periodic and medicated false happiness, fueled by anything other than who they truly are. This is one perspective of my view on happiness. One of the many happiness are holes. <laughs> Take what you will.